that nature hates a vacuum. Writers hate vacuum cleaners. Another thing writers hate are schedules. Unfortunately, when it comes to time management and finding time to write, schedules might be the key to sorting it all out and actually getting some writing done. I suppose this is as vloggy as I get on here, but I've kind of been having trouble lately finding time to write. Uh, in general, the time I find to write is at the end of the day. In some ways this is good because it's quiet and I don't have many distractions. On the other hand, it's quiet and there aren't many distractions and I'm tired and then I fall asleep. So I haven't been getting that much writing done. So I've come up with the nifty solution of actually using one of these schedule things. Well, I mean, not that detailed because I am a writer after all. But I am trying to create a schedule for myself where I actually schedule writing time into each day. Now how you go about this depends on your own schedule and your own preferences. If your problem is you simply don't have enough hours in the day, you may have to figure out things that you can cut out. In some cases this might be something like watching television, or spending time on Facebook, or otherwise goofing off. And how you schedule your writing time depends on your preferences too if you want to actually schedule an hour of writing time each day, or if you would prefer to set different sort of goals for yourself. Sometimes a page count or word count goal can make sense if you're trying to force yourself to get some writing done. You could even set less concrete goals. You could say you're going to write a chapter each day, and then you could write those mega short chapters that James Patterson likes to write. How do you think James Patterson got started writing those short chapters? Or then again, maybe not, because he's on some schedule that I don't even understand how he finds the hours in the day to do the writing that he does. The other trick might be squeezing in writing during other downtimes. Use the built-in voice recorder tool on your phone to record ideas that you have while you're out and about. Yes, this does mean talking into your phone and probably saying all kinds of things that are going to make people look at you strangely. But let's face it, you're a writer, they're probably already looking at you strangely. Now, if what you're writing is a book about, say, the really weird people you see when you're waiting online at Walmart and you decide to record some voice memos for yourself while you're waiting in line at Walmart, be prepared for people to overhear you and get upset. This might not be such a good idea. On the other hand, if you're writing a novel about, say, vampires or werewolves or aliens or something unusual and you decide to record some voice memos for yourself while you're waiting in line at Walmart, you will probably fit in just fine. Despite the fact that I was railing against word counts last week, I have actually set a daily word count goal for myself as I schedule some writing time for myself each day. Um, my goal is, is 2,000 words each day on a current WIP or work in progress. And uh, I met my goal today. Uh, yay, it was the first day of doing this though. So uh, we'll see how well I hold up. Maybe I'll report back to you in a future video. But, uh, but at the moment, I'm on schedule. Um, this is kind of like my, my New Year's Day of keeping a New Year's resolution, though, so we'll see how well this goes. But I know this is something that a lot of writers struggle with. I mean, part of the problem is that it's very difficult to make a full-time living writing, so most of the writers that I know have other jobs and other things that they do besides writing. What this means is they're often putting off writing to do other things. Or maybe they're so busy promoting their writing, promoting their books, that they don't have time to do other writing. They're out doing school visits or book festivals or other writing events. Maybe they're on Twitter or Facebook or other social media sites promoting their work, and they don't have enough time to actually create new work. Finding this balance between promotion and making a living and writing is really tricky, and uh, a lot of us struggle with. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. My name is Alyssa Grasso. I am an author, and I'm awkward, and also sometimes I actually write things. Most of the time I don't. But with my new schedule, I'm going to try to stay on top of things. Um, I'm also going to try and stay on top of these videos. I put out awkward author videos every Tuesday, and um, you can subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or comment below. And uh, I thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you next week.